All right. Uh, let's see. Transformer card, common relic. Remove two cards or get a random boss relic. Well, I don't want to lose the Clockwork Phoenix because it's amazing. Common relic or lose two cards. Let's get a common relic, see what we get. Bag of preparation. I'll take it. Uh, let's see, and where do we want to go? Mystery machines always treat me well. I wouldn't mind going after a boss, too. This actually looks really good. This run here. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay. So what do we do? I guess we could go attack mode. I could easily kill the spike slime, but I take 7 damage for it. Otherwise, I could block all the damage. Let's just block all the damage. In retrospect, I should go attack mode anyway. Because I don't actually have a means of hurting any of these guys. And so, it'd be tempting to go one way or the other, but until we get auto turret or something, it's just going to be uh, a bit spooky. Okay, we can kill him in the next round. This will be interesting. Because, yeah, we're cycling a little earlier. But that might not be so bad. So, retain, gain six block. Force field's always good. Disrupt. No, let's go force field. Because that way I can hold on to a block card no matter what. And I think upgrading it makes it innate. I, I'm actually losing my voice here from laughing. Uh... I'm not going to say that that's terribly unusual, but, uh... It is a weird feeling. Uh, let's see. So I want to attack him, but it is not... It's not working out in my favor here. I'm just going to hold on to these. I'm effectively going to wait until attack mode... Uh, here we go. This should be good. I really like the defense and attack mode on this guy. Like, I like the slime. He's fun. But I want to say I actually really like the uh, the construct better. So what do we do? Uh, deal 9 damage. Hits twice if they don't intend to attack or defend. Deal 5 damage. Play a random attack from your draw pile on the same target. Interesting. Or 3 block 2 times. Let's do reinforce because that's amazing. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Wow, you're approached by a man in a hood. He shows you a rare and powerful weapon. They look otherworldly. You ask him the price. He replies, blood. Gold. So, we can lose some HP and get a black card. Or two curses and get a black card. Black card! Okay. Best defense. Convert all of your block into strength. Lose all that strength on the next turn. No. Draw de two additional cards at the start of each turn. Or two damage. Draw a card. Add a fractal strike to your pyre. Uh, pile. Exhaustive 2. I like Neural Network. Fractal Strike is fun, though. Let's go Neural Network. Okay, so we barely have any money here. Most of these aren't very good. Black Barrage, do no damage. Lose gold, do damage, no. Honestly, I'm just going to grab the auto turret and then remove uh, just a random strike, I think. Oh, right. Oh, okay. So quest re reset your... Uh, reset what you're up to. That actually makes total sense. Flawless the boss. Now that's something I could do. No, 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 no. I don't want to lose my starting relic. That'd be a bad. That'd be a real bad. Nate, draw two cards at the... Okay, a Nate, making that a Nate might not be a bad idea. Otherwise, let's just, uh... Let's just upgrade defensive mode. I have nothing from this guy. I'd like to. Some of these are good. Enhance is pretty fun. What is this? 
At the end of turn 7, deal 50 damage to all enemies. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, these are these are de decent. I like the ultimate defense. One artifact, dexterity, plated armor, and shielding. But, yeah. Obviously can't afford. Too poor. I guess we'll go up this way. Smith. What do we smith up next? Defense mode plus plus. If only I could start with it. For each act you climb, gain 3 temp HP at the start of combat. Ooh! That's kind of neat. Alright. Auto turret. Defensive mode. Defend! You can't touch me! I'm invincible! Alright, let's do neural network. Reinforce. And defend. Alright. And I am perfect. Yeah, Stone Calendar exists in the base game. Never found a good time for it. Stone Calendar would be an amazing thing to get on a, uh... On a body slam run. On Ironclad. Most other runs, not really. Yeah, so the unfortunate part is, I don't do a whole, whole lot of damage here. This is going to be a bit of a slog. Because he shields himself. I have better scalability than he ever will. But we need to upgrade... We need to upgrade Strike. Because, yeah, this guy is kind of mildly a hard counter for me. Not a big one. Oh god, we need to get Calipers. Yeah, I'm invincible, but, uh... We gonna be here for a while. Oh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I need something like uh oh there's a there's a card that actually makes it uh every it you retain it and every turn that you have it in your hand it does five more damage. That would be perfect for this run, for this character, honestly. Unfortunately, we have to wait for it to show back up again. Sucks a bit, but whatever. So how does cycling work? Uh, so it, it'll it say the conditions for a cycle. So for example, if dexterity is less than zero, cycle... Uh, cycle things endlessly. This, this is the unfortunate victim of this entire setup. He'll never ever hit me. But, uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, I gotta get that auto target to do just a little bit more damage than it does. Let's see, Barricade would be perfect as well. I'm not sure if, bar if this character is capable of having Barricade. I mean... He exists as a natural barricade for forever. Oh, we're gonna be up against the beefiest jawworm that ever did beef in our general direction. Yeah, the main problem is he attacks and, and defends at the exact same time. And it makes it really difficult for us to get any damage in edgewise. I should not have gotten rid of that extra strike in retrospect. <clears throat> We'll hurt him, we'll kill him eventually, but, uh, we've only done a third of his HP this entire run. Let's see, this looks like a good game. Is it on Steam? Yup. Yeah, it's on Steam. Uh, I think it's about to come out into 1.0. Absolutely worth it, if you ask me. Stop blocking, you shit! I wish to kill you! Okay, he's not gonna block on this next one. Of course, we're barely gonna cycle any of these strikes. I just know it. Yeah, we got him a little bit there. I think I might also heavily over-upgrade my attack mode as well. I don't really like attack mode that much, but it seems like I might need it for a couple of situations like this, at least until we get the requisite damage to actually harm, it. well, anything. Yeah, that 7th turn relic would have come in handy here. 
Yep, it would have been amazing. This this would have been the character for a seventh seventh turn relic, a hundred percent. Ugh. At least I'm unstoppable. Poison would be absurd too. Or thorns? I mean honestly, uh we had bronze scales like one of the first times I ever did did a run with this guy, and he was unstoppable. Until I I think I just randomly died. I think I overbloated my deck. Because the problem is if you don't have any defensive cards, this guy can't deal with it. Uh. Well, he'll die eventually. It needs auto, uh, thorns or auto play, you fall asleep doing it. Usually we get something, unfortunately it's just a matter of like, I, I, this is the hardest counter I think for this character in the entire freaking game. Uh, yeah, actually, absolutely. Please switch to attack mode and kill him. Do you know how long it would take me to dig out of this hole? I would die before I managed to dig out of this hole. Mainly because switching to attack mode. If I had the uh, switch modes card. There is a card to switch modes. I just don't have it. Like effectively we ran into the jaw worm too early. And it's tempting to give myself the card. Uh, just so that I could switch into raffle stomp kill everybody mode. Uh, but... I, I don't have the cards, so we're stuck more or less waiting for him to slowly die. I am pissing on a car fire, and it's a... Well, it's not... It's working. I, I'm putting it out. There's no, There's nothing else for it to burn. But, like, the cops have arrived, and they're just staring at me judgmentally, and they're like, What is this guy doing? I mean, it's working. We shouldn't... We shouldn't stop him. You know, maybe we should we should recruit him to the fire department, but like it's just so sad looking. It is just so sad looking. Ah! Ah! Ah, die! Oh, God! We are still here! It's one infinite battle after the next! Infinite Spire, what have you done to me? Ah! Okay, we're gonna hit him a bit. Alright, we did, we did like two or three damage. We're good. We'll kill him eventually. I'd say about uh, 20 more turns ish. All right, honestly, considering everything, what I'm probably going to do is just. No. Oh, it's E to end turn. Okay. Nah. Oh. Trying to do. Uh... Trying to do this with uh, keyboard and mouse does not work as well as I was hoping it would. What about a controller? Oh. I don't know if it's going to be better with the controller. Ah! I did one damage to him! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> I mean, honestly, I should actually stop using the defense mode. What the? Ah. Ah. Okay. Damage him, please. Okay, we got it. We got him good there. Just die so he can kill you. Never! Never! This is the sign of a good run, not a bad run. If I am unkillable on the, even the most basic... Well, no. I don't really have a good answer here, but yeah, I scale decks way faster than he scales strength. 
Which means I am functionally unstoppable. So all I have to do is just not die for like three turns. Maybe three more rounds. Okay. Come on, cycle the damage. Uh, one more. What? No. 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 Ah. One more. No. No. Stop. Stop two. Just die. Jawworm suddenly heals to full. No. We're almost there. Yeah, I just need I just need like one more auto turret and this would be fine. It's just this is so early in the run we we have nothing. God, having calipers on this would be amazing. Okay, he's dead, finally. Put this away. That was a trial. <laughs> this is like two turtles fight, except for one of them is covered in spikes. <laughs> okay, uh, versatility. Nope, electrocute. Interesting, or auto turret. Yes, please. It's the only thing. I, it's the only thing. All right, let's smith up. Uh, let's smith up an auto turret. All right, Lagavulin, round two, jerk. Uh, I got nothing on this one, so let's let's not. Auto turret. Auto turret. There it is. Perfect. And thus begins the turtle. You thought you could skunk me, Lagavulin. You thought you could catch me lying down. Well, I mean, you did. You were lying down when this started, but you ain't. You ain't touching me today. Not even close. Yeah, see, now we actually do enough damage to be fine against this guy. It's just a matter of, uh,. You're a walking fortress, basically. Pretty much, yeah. I We are very strong. I, I really want the, the card that makes it so I get a potion every turn. Because having that's going to make me unstoppable. Because uh, not only will I be able to uh, just tank any blow, but we'll be able to just huck potions at people forever. Assuming that I remember to actually use my potions. I am real bad at it. Wait, he, he lowers your dex and strength. Yeah, but I, I raised my dex way faster than he can lower anything. He can't touch me. He can try. Yeah, stack the deck with auto turrets. That's the goal, honestly. If I can just have a, have a bunch of powers, and then largely just cycle my hand real quick. Uh, or my entire deck incredibly fast. It should do the trick. Especially because I draw extra cards every turn. Which means I am going to be able to cycle a little bit faster. Let's see. If Wanderer fights the Lord of Annihilation with this build, it wouldn't end. Uh, there are some ways that it could potentially make it work. Uh, but it would go badly. Probably. See, what do you do uh, against someone that doesn't wait for your setup? Hard... Honestly, that's kind of hard. Uh, we want suppressive fire. Because that's kind of nice. Okay. Oh no, duct tape! Astral Hammer. Whenever you play atta an attack, reduce its cost by one for the rest of combat. Playing attack that costs zero exhausts it. Oh. Eh. It's interesting. Uh, I could also get Mode Shift. What do you guys think? Mode Shift or Auto Turret? Oh, 
Let's go turret. More turrets. Mode shift would be interesting. But... We... We want to flawless this boss. Defensive mode. Auto turret. Reinforce, and let's do neural network. Okay, yeah, they're not gonna, they're not gonna touch me. Yeah, my one fear is I'm not gonna start with, uh... My one fear is I'm not gonna start with defense mode. I need some other cards. Like, we're actually probably gonna want to keep our, our deck fairly thin past this point. Having the ability to draw extra makes a massive difference. Uh, but I don't want... I don't want too much. Really, I'd rather just upgrade what cards I've got. Ish. Like, I probably shouldn't have even picked up Suppressive Fire. The only reason why I thought it might be a good idea is so I can... I can scale my... Uh, scale my defense in kind of an interesting way. Just have extra spare. That was probably a bad move, though. Maybe I can upgrade it for more rounds of blur, because that would be nice. Save state. Retain your hand this turn. No. Enhance, though. Each turn upgrade a random card uh, from the discard pile. Yes. Okay. And we are here. So we can mine for gold, rest, and upgrade a random card. Sure. Well, we get another auto turret upgrade. All right, and we're up against this guy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to flawless this, but I'm going to try real hard. Let's drink the Essence of Steel. Drink this. Neural Network. Perfect. Okay, a little bit of extra block early on, just in case he does that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to flawless this boss. Maybe I am. No. Because I'm going to be able to block 20 out of... No, let's let's just block some of it. No flawlessing this boss. Maybe the next one. Let's see. Because, yeah, force field wasn't going to do that much for me, unfortunately. So he is going to do a lot of damage. Let's just block that. He hits hard, by the way. Like, he's a tough sucker. That's he could have not taken any damage. I'm not sure about that, honestly. Because I didn't get defensive mode until I used one of them. Uh, uh, until I used a card. I only had two energy left. And so, at max, I would have only been able to block 20... Like, 22 damage? Which, yeah, realistically, just wouldn't be enough. So you could have suppressed fire there. I could suppress fire constantly. I The thing is, in retrospect, suppressive fire was a bad choice. I picked it up because I thought blur might be a good idea. But, yeah, it, it's like, why though? No, oh wait, no, we can only have things mega upgraded outside of combat. That's mildly unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's see, when he wasn't attacking. I guess it makes sense. But, like, who cares? I get, like, hundreds of block every round regardless of whether or not he's attacking, and that's the only thing that I need to do is just block once, maybe twice, and then we're, we're golden. So, like, it really doesn't matter what kind of misplays I'm throwing here. Uh, grand scheme of things, I'm still Turtle Man and make never, never touchable. So, I can just do whatever. See, will I be playing Modded Hollow Knight later? 
probably. I think we're gonna finish this run and switch over to their billions. And then at the end of the night, I'll do uh, Hollow Knight. Probably. Uh, part of the reason why I haven't been playing Hollow Knight uh, today, or, or I didn't play it yesterday, is my, my right wrist has been aching just a little bit. It's also the reason why I haven't finished my thumbnail for it. Uh, and so it's kind of like, I'd like to, but it's also just a little hard on my hands. The next card to throw away, attack mode. It's tempting to get rid of attack mode, yeah. It doesn't really help me, it just kind of sits in my hand forever. I'm leery about getting rid of it, but yeah, I don't think it's helping. Bunker, not that helpful. Shield generator. Eh. Eh. Nah. Okay, so... We have Grab Bag. Choose one energy boss relic and one non-energy boss relic to obtain. Both choices will be out of three random relics and cannot be skipped. Or Scarier Mask, which just makes the weakest enemy always flee. Oh, both of these are real good. Not the bell. I think I'm going to go Grab Bag. Cracked Hourglass. Gain energy at the start of each turn. If any battle takes longer than three minutes, you die. Nope. Alright, Coffee Dripper. Black Star. When you even die in combat, immediately restart the fight with 20% max HP. Regain your original max HP. Heal to 50% of your max HP and recharge this relic. If you win the fight. Okay. Or Wedding Ring. Upon pickup, choose two cards once per turn. After you play one of them, play the other one too. Black Star would be interesting, because more relics. Wedding Ring would be hilarious. I'm gonna get Wedding Ring. I have an idea. Okay, Force Field. Perfect. Okay, so we want to do Force Field and defense mode. See, so yeah, I could I could attach defense mode to suppressive fire. That actually would have been a good idea. You're right. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. We've got something. No, we just have new quests. None of them are amazing. Okay, I like the right side. That's a good mystery machine. And we get three bonfires and a shop kind of early on. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we want to do... Neural Network, Enhance, Defend, and let's just hit this bird. Okay, so yeah, the reason why I wanted to synergize um, mode shift and a strike, it would get crazy. That I'm not sure how that would work, unfortunately. Auto turret, reinforce, defend, and suppress mo uh, suppressing fire. Not great. This is gonna hurt a bit. Let's see, the left side has a big bonfire. It does, at the very end. The thing is, big bonfires are not actually that amazing. Okay, so if we do... Defense mode... Okay, it works more or less exactly how you'd expect. Interesting, it also didn't cost me any energy? I'm not sure about that. 
Uh, but yeah, all I need to do is visit a bonfire and we can make force field innate, which means we will always use defense mode. Which I think was... is a good idea. Okay, defense mode, force field. Reinforce, defend. Defend, and I could strike, but like, what's the point of it? The defense mode plus hammer blow. Would be absurd, yeah. Oh yeah, especially because it doesn't cost any extra. Okay. Well, we're good. We just have to tank this, let the strike cycle, kill them. However, and this more or less works. Yeah, because one of the problems I always have with this character is is getting defense mode to, to proc on the first round. Uh, block gain ex extra energy on the next turn. That's not a bad idea. Let's do impenetrable. Baseline, that's going to be useful. Okay, we've got this guy. Again. Whee! Don't screw me. Hello! Oh, I get to remove a card. Alright. Get out of here, attack mode. No one likes you anyway. Hope I don't regret that. <laughs> Alright. Anticipate. Missile. Versatility. Onion rings kind of fun. Orange pellets are kind of interesting. None of these are amazing. We could go with the lantern. Start the combat with additional energy. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see, missile's okay. No, missile isn't really that helpful. It cycles, but it's got a high energy cost and some other things. Okay, so force field. Impenetrable. And let's do auto turret for a little bit of damage. These guys are probably going to escape before they do anything. Luckily, I don't have any money at all anyway. Okay, auto turret, auto turret, force field, and suppressive fire. And yeah, they're going to escape with, like, the no money that I have. So, eh, worse things have happened. I almost won a second wedding ring. Anyway, so they're going to bail. I lost, I think, nothing. I don't think I had anything to lose. Isley would be interesting. Cycle if there's more than one enemy. Your next attack deals double damage this turn. However, that's completely pointless for me and everything related to me. Cryptic writings. Well, I don't have a choice. Necronomicon. Could be kind of fun. I don't know if it's going to help that much, but I'll do it anyway. Okay. And we want to upgrade force field. And we get the blood vial. Hey, that's good. I have no self-healing. Okay, so we want to do force field. Let's see. He's going to hit me for a lot. So let's not risk it. Let's grab neural network. I'd like the auto turrets, but... This is fine. Auto turret. Auto turret. Enhance. Defend in a suppressive fire just for a little bit of extra. Okay, yeah, suppressive fire is pretty helpful. Defense mode again, which gets me a lot extra. Yeah, I think my defense mode scum drummery is going to work fine for me. And the blur is helpful early on in fights.
Yeah, so the Necronomicon is not actually particularly helpful here, but it's not particularly hurtful either. So, I'm not going to regret the, the fact that we ended up with it. But yeah, I would ask, especially for the seeing as we're still kind of early on in this series, slash me returning to this game, I would ask that people lay off the backseat gaming and the criticism of my choices. I'm not always going to make the best choices. In fact, I'm rarely going to make optimum choices. I'm not... I don't care enough to be perfect. Uh, I'm here for licking an old man with 20,000 HP to death as he desperately heals himself. That's what I'm here for. I'm not really here uh, for much. Also, power-up is absurd. Deal 5 damage. All of your basic strikes and defends gain 2 power for this combat. And I can use this over and over and over again. And I know you can defend it by just saying you're suggesting stuff and whatever, but it very quickly ends up being uh, unwelcome-ish. And it's frustrating, because, like, I do want to listen to people. I, I do want to take people's advice uh, and and listen to people what people have to say. It's just hard when I look over a chat and people are like, Why did you do this stupid thing? And I'm like, I just was having fun. Okay, so we can do auto-target and impenetrable. Because that's in part why I stopped playing Slay the Spire originally, is because the amount of people who couldn't be happy when I was having a lot of fun. And it, it got to me. It, it really did. Okay, I think we're gonna take a smidge of damage here, unfortunately. Okay, so we wanna do Neural Network. This sucks a bit. Because we get the double power up. Oh no, oh I... I screwed that one. I didn't count my HP. I thought I had more HP than I, or energy than I did. Yeah, so the uh, the power up is amazing because it effectively every time I use it, it counts double, which means uh, I just double double boosted my blocks and defense or my my blocks and strikes, which admittedly isn't that helpful. Okay, defense mode, power up, and makes my Defense is particularly ridiculous. To the point where actually reinforced becomes kind of meaningless. Okay. Defense mode again. Defend, suppressing fire. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, the main problem is we just don't have a means of healing ourselves here, so that that mistake there cost me a lot. Okay. And the wounds are starting to stack up in a bad way. Because we're not cycling cards as much because our deck's getting full. Luckily, I've scaled up past, but it's a lot of wounds, and this this deck, uh, this deck is not necessarily designed for them. Unfortunately, Auto Turret also does not pick your targets; it just picks whoever. So they just kind of do whatever. I should probably actually hold on to Force Field at this point. Now that I'm thinking about it, if it goes by. Because, yeah, we keep running into small moments like that. And this is going to get real scary if one of these guys doesn't die soon. Because the auto turret turrets are just ac uh, actively just picking whomever. And I have, I have no means of controlling what my target is. This is why I was considering getting that mask. Uh... Because there's, there's the mask that uh, that makes regular enemies run away. I'm going to hold on to the force field just in case we have a, uh, a round 
where I can do nothing else, because, yeah, I can't do anything to those wounds. Yeah, can be. Can you upgrade wound? That'd be hilarious. I would love that. Let's see. Ancient tea set. Which I think we had a quest for. Gambler's Brew. And Shift Guard. We gotta go Shift Guard. We need Shift Guard. Okay, so what do we upgrade? So if I upgrade Force Field. What the? Put this on top of your draw pile. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Um, can you say... Kind of incredibly powerful? Kind of absurdly good. I can do one damage to you. Aha! What are you gonna do? Touch me? Alright. So as long as I keep using force field... I could just keep using force field. Well, I am now invincible. <laughs> I told you guys, you gotta trust me. I can sniff out cheese like a continent and a half away. The problem is, these guys hurt real bad. And I'm not going to kill them fast. But I think I'm, I'm going to scale up faster than them. It's just scary. Okay. So I can do... Do I do power up? That's going to give me 32 block. Let's do force field. Shift guard is a skill, not an attack. Power up. Block. And that'll have to do and we'll just lose the dazes. We keep running into an insane number of, of guys with... Um... With status effects and it's kind of... It kind of sucks. Okay. Well, we'll just get two dazes per turn and I'll have to live. Yeah, any more auto turrets. Or the thing that makes it so whenever I block, enemies take boatloads of damage. Both would be amazing. Okay, so let's do power up. And then I should be able to force field safely here. Let's see, you need synchronize. Every time you draw four dazes in a row, it nukes the enemies. You know that would actually be a good idea. Okay, uh, let's see. They're going to do 40 damage. I'm good, so let's do Suppressive Fire. And then just sit on it. Because, yeah, they'll die. I scale faster than the Cultist. Normally, the Cultist is terrifying. But here we are. I can't believe I actually f drew defensive mode. When does that happen? Never. Rarely. Okay. Power. Ooh, ow. Okay, force field. I got 76. That's actually really good. They're gonna do 69 damage so I can hit him with a power up. And then just do whatever the heck I want. Yeah, letter opener would be swell. There's there's a number of fairly handy cards that I could I could go with that would make this doable. But honestly, like, I'm mostly fine. It's just a matter of, like, we've had kind of bad luck here. The enemies we're up against are the really mean variety. 22, 58 damage. I guess I'll just do Suppressive Fire. Because, yeah, the problem is those dazes keep stacking up into my deck. Meaning I'm only triggering uh, auto-target occasionally here. But, that said, we've, uh, we've destroyed our main threat, so we don't have to worry about anything. Yes. What will you do now, Mr. Chosen One? You stare at me sadly, wishing you had the scaling power of your friend? Hmm, I bet you just wished that. 
And yeah, we are unstoppable now. We are actually truly unstoppable. So what does Blur do? Blur, uh... Blur makes it so your block carries over from round to round. And, uh... Cards cannot cycle until the end of your next turn. No. No, and none of these. Let's just get max HP. Uh, so, effectively, if I get 50 block and... Uh, 50 block in a round, and only lose half of that, then I get the next... I'm gonna get uh, 25. Oh, God damn it! it's this, this guy again. Uh, birds. Hey, thank you, Dark Yubi, for the uh, nine-month resub. I almost read that wrong. We'll be okay. And we do have quests. Oh, yep. I got that quest, so I get a little bit of money. All right, now for this again. Luckily, I scale so much harder than anybody else. Let's see, do I not have the heart unlocked yet? I don't think so, actually. I'm not really sure what you need to do to unlock the heart. That was added after me. Uh, me and my series. Oh, am I gonna... No, I'm not gonna take damage here. I was just looking at that and I was like, Oh, wait, I'm not counting here. That's bad. But yeah, I'm not actually sure what, what it takes to unlock the heart. Okay, so that's... 10, 34 damage. Well, we're good. Power up! I just need you to die faster. We've got to upgrade those auto turrets. Uh, so they're auto turret plus pluses. Unfortunately... Time. So you just have to beat the game with the three base characters again. Any ascension should work. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, so where do the dazes come from? I got hexed by the uh, by the chosen, which is honestly not that big of a deal, but it slows everything down considerably, uh, which is not really a big deal, but it's it's a thing. Uh, we just have we just have bad uh, we just have bad RNG. Luckily, force field plus plus is so unbelievably broken when tied with uh, with defense mode plus plus that like I am for the most part unless an enemy starts around by hitting me uh for you know effectively starts by hitting me for like 20 30 damage no one can beat me I am actually virtually unkillable oh he has been increasing his strength huh well it doesn't matter <laughs> It really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I want to see what the uh, the ultra or the mega mega upgrades of some of these are. Unfortunately, it's oh, we're only going to be able to get certain amounts. Which is a bit unfortunate, but it's life. Oh. Yeah, he is, he is going to up in strength occasionally, here and there. Well, that's fine. I'm just glad I don't have the spoon. This would be a bad situation for the spoon. There he goes. Okay, so siege form, no. Fierce bash, no. Backup would be interesting. Alternatively, I'm just going to keep pumping my max HP. Hello, what can we buy here? Boot. Oddly smooth stone. Hmm. I don't think the... Wait. What 
What if you do no damage? Would the boot trigger if I don't hit them? Yeah, does zero damage count as any damage less for the boot? Less than four for the boot. And zero damage does in fact count. Yeah, it's science. I mean, I'm pretty strong. I'd like another auto turret. But I gotta, we gotta test these things. Okay, so what's auto turret plus plus? Pretty good. Neural network. Would be innate. Power up. Be absurd. Um, I gotta go probably auto turret plus. Wait. It counts like attacks for relics. Wait, did, did that just make the auto turrets stupid? What are the black cards from? I don't actually know. Oh, they're from Infinite Spire. Okay. Well, I'm going to upgrade this one, just in case, because that's that's the one I want to upgrade anyway. Let's go after this sucker. All right, Bronze Automaton, you ain't got nothing on me today. All right, Neural Network, Auto Turret. I should probably do Force Field++ plus plus no matter what, because that it would be bad if I didn't. Do that in the Suppressive Fire, and he can steal... Oh, as long as they don't steal my for Force Field++. Plus plus. That would suddenly get kind of scary. All right. So, force field plus. And n neither of them are going to hit me here. So, I don't know. You can't touch me. You can try. He stole my shift guard. Yeah, no. Well... Yeah, so it looks like the auto turret thing doesn't work the way I want it to, but that's fine. So, next bit of science. One, force field. Probably should have done defense mode. Let's do enhance. I should upgrade the enhance. Suppressive fire does zero damage. So, zero damage does not trigger the boot. Ah. <sighs> well, it's fine. We didn't put our... We didn't put our faith in the heart of the boot. So... We have nothing to fear, or... I mean, we're fine. It's it's the boot. It's not like I picked something terribly ri risky, or who, ca who even cares. Uh, honestly, let's just pop Impenetrable. Just get it out of the, uh... Get it out of the cycle. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit cheesed off about this, but it doesn't matter. Y'all will never hit me. Y'all can't hit me. Yeah, it should have worked. But, shame. Eh. 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 A waste of money, though. Could we get a refund? You know, we could actually... We could actually... We've got mods. We could refund it. How about, I'll just, um, next item I get, I just give it to myself. Like, next time we're at a shop and we see an item that I want for, like, 150 or whatever, I'll just... I don't know, I'll just give myself the money. Shift guard! Not that it's really that helpful. But yeah, sometimes you just need to force science. And realistically, this is a run that, as blandly vanilla as it is at the moment, it's good enough. 
retrospect, I should have blocked harder. This guy actually has the potential of hurting me, if I'm not careful. He has my suppressive fire! No, he doesn't. Aha! I guess we're actually only going to be able to blur over a little bit of damage here. Well, that's fine. Let's see. Have you seen the shop mod? It lets you buy a relic that lets you sell things back to the shop. That would be neat. Um, Honestly, yeah, we should probably look at some of the other mods for this. I haven't... I will admit, I've only looked at the things that are currently on, uh, on Steam. Is there a better repository of other mods that I should grab? Or is it on Steam and it just wasn't listed? Uh, well. Because, yeah, the shop mod would be kind of nice. We will kill him eventually. And we should be able to, uh, flawless him. No problem. The rest of these I don't know about. Okay, shop mod is on Steam. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to be able to touch me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Defend, 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 suppressive fire. I am unstoppable, you horrible monstrosity. Yeah, the problem is the auto turrets just don't do quite enough damage for what I want to do. We're definitely not going against, uh, what's his face? 999 block! Can you hit me? I don't think so. Now, if only the force field or block plus plus gave me a uh, blur on top of it, that'd be scary. And most of the mods are on GitHub, but they're making their way to Steam. Yeah, that's kind of why I was like kind of lazy about looking elsewhere. It's like I could look elsewhere. I could, I could find all the mods on GitHub, or I could just kind of do not and be fine. Because like eventually they're gonna hit Steam anyway, and then here we go. So what does Dexterity do? Increases your block. Uh, so every time you block, it increases it by whatever your Dexterity is. So for this mod, it makes me absurd. I'm hitting about a thousand block every single round. Suffice to say, I am untouchable. He can try and touch me. But he's not gonna succeed. And he is done. Three more quests for the quest log. Golden bullet, no. Four blur, two vulnerable. Eh, max HP. Okay, so we can get dimension glitch. Gain energy at the start of each turn. All non-damaging, all non-attack damage you deal is reduced to half rounding down. All non-attack damage you receive is increased by half rounding down. All in-combat healing you reduce is, re receive is reduced by no no okay draw one more card each turn retain up to one more card each turn extra choice on card reward screens you pick up one extra potion slot you cannot skip rewards i think that might be fine i'm gonna try the honey jar how does the honey jar work with uh singing bowl because if we're lucky that's amazing and yeah, don't forget to claim the reward yeah there we go we got short-range teleporter. No. That's stupid. I don't like that. I don't like that item in the slightest. Alright. Uh, what else do we have? Funny monsters. Kill a nightmare. Fierce bash. Synchronize. Reptomancer. Eh. We can kill a nightmare. A couple of nightmares. What's the most amount of bonfires I can chain? There's three here. Because, yeah, we want to get bonfires just to upgrade all of my cards. A lot. I should get the path mod so I can actually uh, pick the direction I'm going every single time. Let's see, be careful with that one. It makes you... You have to take a card, can't skip rewards. 
But the thing is, the singing bowl might counteract that. We're doing science here. I don't care if I win or lose. I mean, I do, kinda. But I don't care that much. Okay, let's retain... I don't know. Impenetrable, just because. Let's see, you can chain four, I see a path with four. One, two, three, four, five. So I got five. Forest field. Let's do impenetrable. I guess I should have done auto turret. Let's hold on to the auto turret. That is nice, actually. Let's see. Force field, auto turret, enhance. Might not be a bad idea to upgrade enhance now that I'm thinking about it. And I don't want to retain a single days. Because that'd be silly. Ow. Oh, they exploded on me. Shit. Oh, it's because my block wore off and they exploded on their turn. Oh, that sucks. Damn it! So yeah, I'd have to retain my block to... Oh, that's 40 damage. Ouch. And honestly, there's not much I could have done to counteract that, to be totally honest. Oh. Oh, you snake. You sneaky snake of a develop uh, mod developer. Okay, so I can't do the plus two max HP because it gives me a card randomly as well. All right, guess we got to go save state. Well, I can lose save state. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Okay. Honestly, as silly as it sounds, I'm going to go curth Cursed Writhe. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Ultimate Defense. All of these are good. All of these are pretty good, but I'm going to go Panache. All of these are pretty good. Okay. And let's go here. So we want to upgrade... Upgrading Panache might not be a bad idea. Upgrading Enhance would be lovely. Honestly, I'm actually going to upgrade Enhance. I want to see what Maximized Upgrade Enha Enhance does. We can fight a boss. Oh, it's the Collector. Oh, this will be interesting. Alright, defense mode. Panache. Auto turret. Shift guard. And he's not going to hit me anyway. So I'm just going to hold on to impenetrable and wait for the next turn. Let's see, you can mega upgrade base game cards. So including color... Uh... Colorless ones? That'd be interesting. Alright, uh, pop a madness, that makes a defense free. Let's do force field, because I, I can't lose that. Auto turret, no. Enhance, free defend. Let's do a discovery, get me shield burst. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna hit me. Yeah, shield burst is one of those other cards that... Would have made this run so much easier, but we're entirely, we're entirely dependent on it showing up. Which sucks a bit. Because it doesn't like to show up. Hit Neural Network, and he's not going to do anything. I could do 17 damage to him, or... Yeah, sure. We'll do a little bit of damage to him. And let's retain one of the defense. Omega Cannon. Huh. Well, that's not going to work for us here. Force fields. You can't touch me, even if you wanted to. 
Alright, save state. Also panache. Also, nah. What else could we do? We could do power up. And let's just hold on to suppressive fire. Might have been a good idea. I want my upgrade card to upgrade panache. Even though I don't need to. Hey, electric armor. That's really freaking good for what we're about to do. Bam! All right, I got some thorns, I think. Oh, electric armor. When attack, deal damage equal, uh, de damage back equal to your dexterity. Wait, hold on. What? Is that, did they change it? Oh, they did change it. It used to do thorns. Now it does something completely different. I don't mind that in the slightest, actually. That's way better. I could use more cycle cards. I could, but the game hasn't given me any. And that's fine, honestly. I'm gonna give myself the ultimate defense, because that is goofy strong. Okay, let's retain shield burst, because I'm probably gonna just gonna explode on him. Oh, I didn't actually use force field here. Whatever. Alright, fine. Uh, panache. Defense mode. Shift guard. Defend. Other defend. Blam! Snack pack. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain two HP. That's not really that helpful, but I'll take it whatever. AC repair. Not really desirable. I could grab Hasty Repair. Or I could just go Force Field for more block. I'm gonna go that. Okay, so what do we do? So, what is Enhance Plus Plus? Can Mega Upgrade Cards. Yes! Golem's Mask. On the first turn of combat, gain Golem's Might. Each of your attacks deal 5% more damage than, la than last turn. What? does that even do? I am confused. Okay. Take less damage outside of combat. Contain colorless cards. Kind of good. I don't know I was going to give myself stuff. But honestly, grand scheme of things... Uh... Auto turret. Antimatter could be interesting. I don't know if it's affected by strength, though. I skipped a bonfire. Oh, shit. Did I? Whatever. I'll live. Oh, yeah. So I did. All right. Happens. Let's uh, upgrade the ulti ultimate defense. And we'll have to fight this guy, but that's life. Yeah, mode shift for a haymaker. I was considering it. The main problem is you just have to see mode shift go by every single time. Oh, I should have gotten rid of the Ryth too. Can you tell I'm just kind of doing whatever at this point? Uh, let's see. Let's hold on to nothing. Yeah, I wish I could teleport backwards. That'd be rad. There it is. Auto turret plus plus. Force field enhance. Uh, let's see. Discovery. Give me... Point defense. Now let's do reinforce, just because. Eh. Having that extra force field actually is a really good choice. Alright, let's do panache. Force field. Shift guard. Neural network. And I don't want to do auto turret because I want it to, uh... I want the upgrade thing to actually maybe upgrade some stuff. I don't know. See no reason not to. Let's see. These are all good. Hold on to ultimate defense. They'll die eventually. Force field. Why do I keep doing that to myself?
End turn. Hold on to ultimate defense. Okay. This time I'm going to remember to ultimate defense. There we go. End turn. And... None of... Oh, uh, well, defense plus plus could have been fine, but that's, that's, that's fair. Defense mode. Three cards. Reinforce. I don't know. Power up? Let's see. I guess... I'm just going to use one of the auto turret pluses. I don't do enough damage. Let's see. How's he going to kill all three at once? That is an interesting question. I don't really have an answer for you. I mean, honestly, this is why I'm not using the auto turrets to some degree. Uh... Right, plus, plus. Because I want them to all hit uh, maximum strikage uh, or multi maximum damage. I mean, luckily, the auto turrets are incredibly indiscriminate when they hit. Wow, gain 47 block five times. I, I need to do some more runs with this character with the uh with max upgrading just to see what happens. Uh because uh Woo baby, that's some defense. And it works with Panache. Actually, we might be okay. It it really is entirely dependent on that upgrade card, mega upgrading some things that we need. Unfortunately, it's just kind of working down the list. Is... No, the ultimate defense is still in there somewhere. Somewhere. Let's see, what if you got another wedding ring and you put it on both force fields? I kind of wish you could, actually. Okay. An extra five power. Yeah, power up plus plus is kind of neat. Reinforce plus plus is stupid. Defense. Panache. Yeah, I have no means of... I, I need that shield break card, but we never got it on this run. Well, except for, you know, the one RNG tie... Uh, the, the one time RNG just jammed it in my hand. Where is that one ultimate... Oh, you know what? That ultimate defense card is a power. That's why I haven't seen it go by again. I know what's going on. Clearly. Come on! Upgrade my turrets, damn it! We're gonna be here forever. Okay. Nothing. Ugh. I think we can... I think we got him, actually. Yeah, Panache saves the day. Yeah, so because of how indiscriminate my, um, my build is, it, uh, didn't discriminate about that. I think I'm going to grab Anticipate. It's not amazing. Okay, so I can rest... Or I can transform a card. Yeah, that's a power. Okay, uh, let's rest and upgrade a auto turret. Sweet. We're up against... What the... The f... What? Cluster. When taking HP damage, mass shapes may break apart into smaller monsters. Huh. Oh, we're going to be here for a while. Uh, impenetrable, maybe? Uh. Also, Jar, Jar of Honey, I, it threw me off a little bit, but it didn't really screw me over, which is kind of nice. Enhance plus plus. There it is. Tumble, shift guard. Let's grab tumble. 
The fact that there's no music here is just weird. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep holding on to Impenetrable, even though I don't need it. Uh, question. Ultimate Defense has been upgraded. Can it be upgraded again? No. I don't think it can be upgraded again. I think it's actually just too new. Hold on to power up. I feel like... It hasn't realized I'm here yet. I'm sure it has. All right, there's there's an auto target plus plus. But like, I don't know. I don't know. I think I might hear. How about this? Let's just turn off the music. These modded runs are great, but they're kind of... The music is really inconsistent. Let's just listen to a game. The Exploders will kill me. Yes. I realize that, and there's honestly nothing I can do about it. Like, you have to realize... I'm just doing as little damage to him as possible. With the intent, hopeful purpose that... We just... Let's see, that's a bug, sorry. Not, not a big deal. Oh! Uh, are you the dev of one of these mods? Does that make sense? But yeah, I, I'm sure it's a bug, it's not a big deal. Yeah, because if I just don't hurt him... Maybe we'll be okay. But yeah, uh... The block problems are going to make this into an issue. Let's retain nothing. You're the dev of Infinite Spire. Well, welcome! And yeah, the, the music uh, not showing up is not that big of a deal. This is this is lovely, by the way. I really like these mods. Uh, admittedly, I'm having trouble exactly separating Infinite Spire out uh, specifically. If Blank is the dev of the guy you licked to death earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'd apologize, but I don't think I'm capable of feeling regret for that, that, that thing. Okay, if you get the second floor boss on this, uh, with the birdcage-like symbol, turn on the music back. Okay, sure. Uh, remind me when, like, when I get the chance. Okay, let's hold on to Anticipate, just because. Uh, let's see. The nice part is we do have Shielding, which may help. But for the most part, we are just stuck here. Uh, watching this boss either kill us, or we kill him, and there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. At least I will be... Uh, the tankiest the in this entire way through. But yeah, if I could retain just a little bit of block so the Exploders don't destroy me forever. That would make this easier. Unfortunately, we are... Shackled entirely on whatever this game gives me. Ooh, he hurts. I mean, not enough to actually scare me. But he, he does actually, in fact, hurt. Oh, I should probably hold on to, uh, Suppressive Fire. In retrospect, that's how we save ourselves. Uh, I just have to hold on to Suppressive Fire, and as long as we don't run into an Exploder, we're golden. We have nothing to worry about. End turn, hold on to Suppressive Fire. Because you, I will know exactly when they're going to explode, so as long as I have Suppressive Fire in my hand, we're good. This is... Slow. To say the least. I'd use Panache, but I keep hoping it'll get upgraded. But it might not. Yeah, upgrade two cards in your discard pile. So, 
Supposedly it will. But I, I don't know. I'm not... Okay, I, I am losing my, my block here. And it lasts through their turn, but they blow up on my turn? I'm not entirely sure how the exploder is going to work if and when we get there. Well, let's see, could I just give myself body slam? Sure. I mean, realistically, yeah. Also, Tumble is completely useless on this build. That sucks. I was really hoping it would not be affected by strength, but so be it. And yeah, we're not, we don't have enough attack cards in this deck to cycle here. We've got a couple and they do dan- uh oh, there they are. Well, at least they exploded the exact same time. And the panache has been upgraded. Okay, so we want to hold on to suppressive fire. So we want to use it on the next round. And then we should be good, I hope. Because, yeah, this is meaningless. Uh, next round. Hold on to suppressive fire. They're going to do nothing to me. Maybe Dungeon of the Endless music was just a little bit too calming for what I'm doing here. But that's okay. Auto target. Shift guard. Wait, it blew up, but it... It... it I... I'm confused about this exact order of operations here. Alright, so I got defense forever. And we're going to lose none of it. I'm just going to let that go. Let these get upgraded. It explodes, does nothing to me. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how that one exploder exploded on me earlier. Because it doesn't look like that should have happened. Eh. I'm confused, and it doesn't matter. So, we are killing him very slow. Let's see, why am I not playing the, uh, the upgraded panache? Because I'm kind of hoping there might be a further upgraded version, but I doubt it. You're right. Not that big, big of a deal. Uh, let's hold on to suppressive fire. So, so Panache is not mega upgradable. Somebody said it was. Uh, I, and I just took their word for it because I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I do. I've clearly gotten to this point, which is like an achievement in and of itself in a very weird way. Have I just lost all of my, um, I guess I did get rid of some of my strikes. So, yeah, we are an entirely... I should have picked up some more uh, cycle-based cards. I was just really hoping for the shield break move. I mean, luckily, pretty soon we're going to we're going to have everything at, at mega upgrade, and it won't matter. Okay, things are exploding. I'm not sure why. Hold on to suppressive fire. Oh, panache! Panache hit them. Only Constructs cards have Mega Upgrade. It's okay, it's a bit unintuitive. I just remember somebody had said that you could Mega Upgrade base cards as well, and I was like, really? Let's see, draw five, reinforce. In hmm. Actually, I think we have just enough energy that we can continuously. Yeah, so we can trigger the panache every single round if we wanted to. Okay, shift guard up. I've probably used all of my auto turrets at this point. Nope, there's one non-upgraded auto turret there.
Oh, and I don't have enough energy. That's fine. In fact, we don't even need to hold on to uh, suppressive fire, really. This is such a slog. I mean, it works. It's really effective. But it is like a painful slog. That does some more damage. I guess I should use Tumble more often. And yeah, he's not gonna... He's not gonna hit me, hurt me, or anything like that. We are... We are fine. Okay, Force Field. Shift Guard. Uh, let's see. Anticipate and Defend. That should... Yeah, trigger Panache. And then... Nothing. I do like the... I, I'm really glad we have the Mega Upgrade thing rolling. It's not actually producing as many interesting results, but we also have really boring cards. So that's kind of part of it. Okay. Hold on to suppressive fire. Yeah, we're good. I just have to... Careful. Force field. Shift guard. Suppressive fire. Anticipate. Okay, and that blows them all up. And we don't have anything more. Perfect. And I'll ret retain nothing because I don't need to. Uh, those dazes are kind of annoying, but... This is... this is okay. That auto turret will not get upgraded. Come on! I mean, I don't need it. It's not that bad, but it's... It'd be nice if we could actually pick. Okay, so what's... Su suppressive Fire++ plus plus gains 3 blur. Okay, so I should have been upgrading this this entire time. Because that is absurdly good. And if I could have had two of those... We would have been in a really fun place. And time. And so on and so forth. And you say infinite blur! Because I can. Yeah, okay. So next time we do this, I don't think I'm going to play this character like this. Uh, but infinite blur is in fact... Uh, doable. I just have to upgrade it twice. Alright, and what? He's back. I guess he's, he is a mid, I don't know. I give up. He'll die eventually. There we go. Okay, you enter self-destruct mode. And... Hit the heart pretty bad. Oh, we're here. I've done 59,000... Damage to the heart out of a total of 14 billion. Damn. I need to... I need to up that. So what do we get? What is this biz? So if you have Panacea and Shift Gear, you can bring your strength up to the same level as Dex without lowering Dex. Yeah. No, there there were some things that I probably could have done there. Yeah, so now to unlock the heart. I think... So, correct me if I'm wrong, but to unlock the heart, I have to go... Uh, go after all three of... Or, uh, go after him with all three of these? Let's see. And would I like a f few suggestions for mods before the next run? I should, yeah. Uh, uh, I said I wasn't going to play more uh, too much Slay the Spire tonight, but I don't think I'm going to be able to stop myself. So what mods do I need to grab from the workshop right now? Link them in chat real quick. Uh, I'd like to mainly just get ones from the, the workshop, just because uh, I am lazy and that way I can have it all on one mod list. 